about Chinese cuisine. It is often said that the Chinese are a lucky people, for wherever they go, they can always have hometown food. Such is the popularity of Chinese cuisine. Chinese food preparation reached a peak during the Qing Dynasty of 1645 to 1911. During this time, a style of cooking and food preparation called the Mang Hang Kuang Shi was created. This style encouraged the preparation and serving of many dishes, each with its own distinctive flavor and appeal. A veritable banquet in preparation and presentation. From this point on, Chinese cuisine has been broken down into what is called the four flavors: pungent, sweet, sour, and bitter, and eight cuisines employing the full range of cooking techniques: frying, braising, simmering, boiling, baking, steaming, crisping, and stewing. When completed, a Chinese meal is arranged on a variety of plates, so it can be viewed, smelled, and savoured. Prepared mostly into bite-sized pieces for chopstick usage, the whole meal oozes daintiness in the dish's aesthetics and visual appeal. Traditional Chinese meals consist of two components: firstly, a starch or carbohydrate source. Such as rice, noodles, pancakes, or steamed buns called mantao. The second component consists of various dishes of vegetables, meat, fish, soup, and other delicacies cooked in a variety of methods described above. In the north of China, conditions aren't favorable for rice cultivation, so barley, millet. Wheat and soybeans are the staple, with noodles and breads filling out the meals. In the south, rice is the dominant staple. Desserts aren't common; rather, sweets or sweet dishes are often introduced during the course of the meal. If desserts are to be served, they are generally fruits, such as sliced oranges. Another dessert is a sweet soup made from red beans and sugar and served warm. Cold drinks are also considered.